catch it. So, uh, if you got twinkle fingers, I'll sit there. <laughs> I just want to say something real quick, actually, kind of in response to something that, that William said. What, I moved here 12, 13 years ago. Uh, I, I, I actually found out about the Free State Project later, and I was interested in it. Uh, I think I signed up on the website after I was already here. Um, so I'm, I'm not an actual Free Stater because I was already here for my job. But when, and then I, I kind of didn't get involved with anything, and so it kind of slipped my mind. When we occupied in Manchester, I was one of the people that looked around, and when we realized that the people that were that were very activist-like and, and were, were very strong in the movement, it was kind of scary. We're like, wait a minute, what's what are all these Free Staters here taking control of the conversation? Well, it was because they knew what was going on. They knew how to do activism. They knew how to have a strong voice already, and, and those of us like myself didn't because we hadn't really been activists, or activists before. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to point out, William said that a lot of his friends are anarchists. That too was a very scary word to me. <laughs> it was, it really was. And I think that it's a scary word to a lot of people. But if you actually take the time to educate yourself about what anarchism really is, and, and go out and meet a few of them, talk to a few of them, read their blogs, I think you'll be amazed, completely blown off uh, whatever thought process that you've had before. Anarchism is not bad. And I'm a conservative Republican, like from a, you know, up, whatever, from a, you know, a nice upbringing. And I would have said, oh my gosh, the anarchists, you know, <laughs> that's wrong. That is completely and utterly wrong. Go educate yourself. Please take the time to learn because it's just, it's wrong. It, 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 it's, it, I can't say anything more than anarchism is not bad, in, in my opinion. Thanks. Okay. Um, okay, we've got we've gone over ten minutes. Can I get a temperature check on maybe doing another five minutes? We're right about fifteen right now. We're at fifteen right now. So um, I think we're good. I don't remember your name in, in the mask. And then Ian. And then we'll end the conversation at that point. Do we have anything new? Jim and Ian. Is there is there anything new to add to the conversation? That, I guess? Yeah. I yeah, uh, long time ago, I'm new, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm new to this state. I've been here a little over 30 years now, but I basically grew up down in Florida. Florida's a lot more rougher than it is here. Doing anything politically down there for civil rights or anything is a lot rougher than up here. It's more of a police state than here. And I think here, you have a little bit more of a freer voice, but I've also seen the other side of it too. You know, that's why I just want to... I figure I'm in a free enough environment that maybe I can like help get something going here. And yeah, I'd like to apologize to whoever I chased away here because I'm wearing my mask. <laughs> I support the V mask, by the way, I have my own. I do um, too. And I'm also from Florida. I think I um, do too. The observation I wanted to make was that um, I, you know, I agree with all the things that people have said about the Free State Project, very diverse group. And I, you know, it frustrates me when people just have preconceptions about what a group is. So whether that's the Free State Project or whether it's Occupy. Um, and I've, I, I know people who are Free State Project participants who have a preconceived notion about Occupy. And, oh, I don't want to go to Occupy because it's da 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 The people there are X, Y, and Z. And, uh, well, how do you know? Have you been? No, I haven't been. Well, why don't you come out and meet some of these people and then, you know, make a decision. And the same thing with, you know, the handful of occupiers who have taken issue with the Free State Project. Well, they've got preconceived notions. Maybe that's because they heard rumors. Maybe they read some news article that was slanted. I mean, there are all kinds of reasons why there's misinformation out there about the Free State Project. But uh, I'm glad that everybody here can keep a, has kept an open mind and, and look at the, you know, the bridges that have been built because of it. And that's one of the reasons why I got involved in Occupy, because one, they're activists, and two, I know that uh, there are things that we have in common and that we can grow together and, and learn things from one another and, and I want to contribute as much as possible to that process. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, say if, if you guys haven't checked out any of Ian's work, Google it. It's amazing. Thank you. We talk a lot of time. Okay, so, and then that's the last thing I'm going to do.
Okay, in this so moment of silence, I'm going to just jump in and say a quick thing. According to the to no, the point of process, right? we really have we have an agenda. Let's stick to it, please. Well, I, yeah, nothing's going on. Right? Well, actually, I was about to start talking. I'm sorry. I, there's two things left on the agenda. Um, the first is to go through the, the the this list and the actions that we currently have scheduled, um, and then the second is to go through Matthew's proposal. Um, so we have those two things left to um, take care of. Will's going to walk you through this hey. next part because, yes. quite honestly, uh, to, I need to, to find time, a... Though, so if you have something important, to okay. real quick. Yeah. The thing on the agenda is uh, all of the groups, I think we read, read them off earlier, I'll go back through them again, um, that we would like to schedule uh, opportunities for them to come and tell us more about either that organization or that issue. Um, right now, we have... Um, sorry, it's difficult to read in this light. Uh, Habitat for Humanity, Peaceful Streets. What is that? I'm trying to write this down. Um, Peaceful Streets. Peaceful Streets? Yes. No. Oh, it does. Thank you. Yeah. Occupy the Farm. Industrial Hemp. Northern Pass. Pride Fest, Move to Amend, Move to Amend, Stopping Privatized Prisons, Trail Breaker Pipeline, and we have added today uh, NH Peace Action. Veterans for Peace, and Food Not Bombs. So these are a lot of organizations <clears throat> that we would like to have come and uh, tell us more about their organization and address or the issue so that we know in the future if they're having an event or an action, whether or not we as a group want to support or promote their actions. Um, I am uh, proposing that we form a committee to begin the scheduling because it's going to be a matter of contacting each of these groups, finding out who their contact person is, or in the case of an issue, who would like to make a presentation on that issue, and then scheduling that. And I don't think that that's something that can be efficiently done uh, in a group this large. Uh, so can we, ha does, can we get a temperature check on forming a committee? to begin um, setting up all of these teach-ins. Okay, so we'll send around a piece of paper and anyone who wants to be on the committee is welcome to be on the committee. Uh, so just put your name on it and then the committee will meet either virtually or in person and um, will get back to us with the results. Woohoo! Um, can... Sure, you want to use that? Sure. I'll send this around to anyone who wants to be on the committee. Uh, can sign up or and uh, just pass it on around. Now, is it just organizations or events that we're trying to get? Um, if you are, we only have one more piece left. Probably, if you are on, are, are interested in being a presenter mm -hmm. for any of those organizations that I listed, you should definitely uh, get on the committee. Um, or if you just are willing to help, contact. Uh, uh, these organizations or people who are willing to make presentations on those issues just and scheduling scheduling is going to be the big thing um, that I think that brings us full circle to Matthew's uh, proposal right um, so and I'm not exactly clear I think what what ha happened earlier uh, the statement about um, being inclusive except for people who are personally abusive and then excluding them by uh, the consensus process, did that address? No. How, how much of, of what you wanted to do did that address? Um, that um, establishes like some structure of accountability. I also want to follow through with the enforcement part of that um, in regards to Mark Provost. Um, I think he's clearly shown demonstrated abusive behavior to several occupiers and um, 
my proposal would be that um, that he not be allowed um, access to statewide resource um, Occupy New Hampshire resources or the admin page or uh, and that he be excluded from the process um, until everyone in the community feels safe. Hey, can, can we pull in a little okay. so we don't have to talk as loud? Did someone write that down? <laughs> um, I, I we gotta have that, yeah. Could Mark Provost have been abusive to several occupiers um, or and like your motion to uh, bar him from statewide resources and the end of the I'd just like to clarify here. Can we get some specific examples? Because I can, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm fairly neutral on the proposal. I'm not sure if I'm in favor or not. Um, I will give the details. Um, so essentially what happened was there is a Facebook group that is what, what started a lot of this recent stuff because there is a history here, but I'll just talk about the recent stuff and then I'll discuss the history real quick. Um, the admin tent um, uh, is where the people who had admin access on the New Hampshire Facebook group were having their discussions, so the, the, sort of the meta discussion about administering the Facebook group. And there was a conflict between Ben and Mark, and Ben removed Mark from admin access. Mark raised a fuss. There was a full process discussion with among the administrators, and Ben was essentially censored from being an admin and Mark was restored and then subsequently Mark took it upon himself as part of this process to de-admin a whole bunch of other people. So here's someone who after getting a process for his grievance essentially uh, ignored it for other people. So that right there was a, a massive thing. Point, point of process. Right, if we're uh, actually, in, if your goal is to talk about about Mark, uh, first of all, as far as access to resources go, mm -hmm. I, 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 and um, I think it was already made clear earlier at the beginning that he's going to be stepping down from both uh, the corporation and I think any leadership position. So it seems like he's doing these things voluntarily for the good of the movement. That's one point. And the second point is that as far as the um, the removal, uh, you know, from the, uh, of, of the admin privileges, it's not clear to me that that was something he did all by himself. Other people seem to have whatever whatever people think of their process. Um, that that there was some sort, and it was not unilateral on his part. Um, so to remove us from the page I'm not, entirely, I'm not. I, I, block I, people. I, I don't know. What do we do? Uh, all that? I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, all you really know, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, is that you were removed. I'm not sure that you know for sure. You suspect, but you don't. I don't think there's any evidence that one. He actually did it, or two, that he did it all by himself. Process. I, process. Process. I have not been removed from the Portsmouth yeah, this page, has... which gives me an indication <laughs> that it was him. I, I, I have a point of process. Um, I'm, I'm not concerned as, as to who he removed from admin privileges. I'm like concerned as to who he personally abused and attacked. Well, and I got interrupted, so That's so let me I come back. The reason I started there was this was the immediate incident, and it was part of the reason that this escalated to where it did. So, going back, there is a history going back, and Sherry was here, and she related some stuff, and and we have a number of people who have had complaints. This has been a persistent problem. This isn't a single incident. This isn't two incidences. This is a pattern of incidences that all jive together where he has acted inappropriately in a variety of ways, making threats, near threats, inappropriate comments, uh, I mean, you, uh, threats, of, threats of suing people who were volunteering to do Occupy positions such as hosting websites. Uh, I mean, there's a wide variety. Um, this was brought up multiple times and in the past because a strong action wasn't taken, it continued. 
So the reason it's gotten to this point is not because of a particular incident and not because of even the series of incidents, it was tried to be dealt with. I personally wrote a public letter to him saying, if you're going to be a leader, especially in a leaderless movement, if you take the personal responsibility of being someone who puts themselves forward, there's a responsibility to act responsible. Please do so. And in response, he blocked me and basically ignored it, and then all of this happened. So even attempting to have a conversation was not possible. I'm not sure that I agree with, I agree with well that I'm not sure that even if we do anything, it's going to have an effect. I think the message you're trying to send is a good message. I support the message. I'm not sure that functionally it's going to take effect, but if your goal is send a message that says this is not acceptable to the Occupy New Hampshire community, I support that. I think um, I missed the transition to this Julia conversation. To speak for a while. Okay. Um, for, for the record, I wanted to make uh, a point that whether provost go uh, declare himself as not occupy anymore or he stepped down on this, on that, as a director, whatever, it doesn't absolve him of what he does. And to correct the record, it it was Provost who started the very beginning who he, it's not Ben who, Ben also uh, violated the consensus process, but Provost violated it first. And he is telling Ben to can out Ben of Occupy New Hampshire and, and keep his uh, admin or whatever privileges he has in New Hampshire while he is the one who, who start, he, at the core of the violation of the consensus process starts with provost. And, and, and I want that to be clear that he, he's not gonna be absolved with anything or, or make this uh, accountability a retroactive, uh, uh, cannot be a retroactive uh, uh, or whatever because he's been doing he's been doing this over and over again and i know he's gonna do it again um regarding um is it okay <laughs> go ahead the challenge facing us now is how to get the two pieces of this movement working together there was a splinter I think <laughs> this group could, could splinter and splinter again. There is a one wing of it has incorporated the name Occupy, and that has a maybe a, a, a great deal of legal power to it. It's a trademark on the name, folks. I would like to see us negotiate with the people who did that. Build the bridge back. Mark is stepping down, so the big obstacle to do it is gone. Talk to those people, repair the damage, and take a hard look at what they filed as articles of incorporation. There's some, a lot to be gained for that. We know that the Koch brothers tried to take over the brand. This, that filing in the Secretary of State's office uh, protects the brand. There's a lot to be said for being incorporated as far as raising money. You can't do it without that. So get the two sides together. I'd like to make a motion that representatives of our group sit down and network with the people on the other side. You know who they are and see if you can't repair the damage quietly. Okay. Question: How do you that. negotiate with abusers? Yeah, like they, the rea Okay, first of all, that proposal we can add, but for right now we need to take care of the other proposals that are on the table. But we can put that proposal on to have a discussion about whether or not we want to do that. Um, Just put forth a simple proposal that would go a long way towards 
reconciliation. I think one of the proposals that would go a long way towards it would be to reinstate those people. I don't, I don't necessarily need admin privileges back. I don't care about that. I, I was doing that as a f to help. I would like to be allowed back onto the page that I helped to start and create 6,000 some likes. I think it's wrong. I didn't even say anything on the page and I got banned from the page. I got banned from the discussion, which is what I've been standing up against. And not just me, like there's like 20 of us. They got banned from discussing these issues anymore. And that's just wrong. And for the people that are on that side of the fence to not be standing up in an uproar, that's offensive to me. Thanks. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, and? No, I, I, was, okay. I was saying very strongly, I'm, I'm offended that's why by those groups. who are saying, negotiate with these people who have perverted process. <laughs> if if they, have, they have not been talking to us in good faith all along, they are talking to us and covering up that they've already filed? How can you trust them to negotiate with them? Hello? Ben? Um, regardless of their, their past actions and what, what has happened that everyone here, a lot of people here disagree with, I, I do, I agree in general that the best way to move forward would be to have a larger discussion between the group that cho chose to leave and people that chose to stay. Uh, I think that's the best way personally to move forward. I don't honestly think that's going to happen necessarily because I know that, at least I read an article that said that, according to Mark Provost, who was quoted, that the two groups are permanent, that there's no reconciliation between the two of them, and that they should just move forward as two separate groups. And that's why I said this is your new leader. I would also like to point out that it does take two weeks uh, to file and receive an EIN, so this was premeditated before uh, the last GA actually happened. If we do, I have no, I don't have any problem with um, most of the occupiers in the other group. If we do seek um, reconciliation with them, I want Mark Provost to be have no part in the decision making. I want him to have no vote or say in that. That's my piece. Um. <laughs> to your point about the brand and all that, I still think it's very important to file a letter of protest with the Secretary of State and ask him to put it on hold. I think you need to, within 10 days, say something. And just tell him it's disputed and then we'll try to resolve it. Should be able to get an attorney involved in that. That makes sense. That's what I was thinking. We should get some kind of yeah. Yeah. We have the, the so guild. So we have so many lawyers. At, at, our, at our disposal of offers. Point, of Point of process. Can I get, if there are enough people who believe that that letter should be written, let's get some people to volunteer to write the letter. We have the New Hampshire, we have the, what's the name of it? The, the Lawyers Guild? National Lawyers, National Lawyers Guild. We, I have two of the lawyers on my Facebook page, as do a lot of you. I mean, they've been very helpful. Barbara, Barbara Keyshawn and, and Larry Vogelman. Yeah. Those, I'm sure that they would be willing to help us file something to prevent that, I would think. But, I mean, but I, I, I just don't, if it, it's not clear really who us is. Yeah. The, the only thing to me that's clear right now is those who, who actually made the filing have put their names on it. Five people. Okay. And we heard from one about her motivations, why she did it, and that two of those are stepping down. So I don't understand. Are you guys suggesting talking to the other three people who are still on the board? If two because other people don't step up, does it just dissolve? Uh, it no, two they'll get, to two, they'll get two new board members. In, right. So the question is, are you going to be involved in the process of putting forward those two new board members? Or are you objecting to the point? It seems like a lot of people are objecting to them being to it being incorporated at all a lot of people and that's just i don't know i don't understand i don't see the process by which some people are going to have the discussion with those people i, I mean someone help me how no, how do we do that right. I, I talked to the Secretary of State, I mentioned this before, so I, I understand the, the idea of, of putting a letter in. The Secretary of State himself and the Dep Deputy Secretary of State was part of the conversation. There is no process to contest a filing. They specifically said the only way that it could be challenged is through the court system. So, if we have a lawyer, whoever that lawyer might be who's interested, who's willing to do it, 
Number one, are they going to do a pro bono? Are they going to charge us? So now you have to start raising money. You have the whole question of who the plaintiffs are. Uh, we do have currently, there are 14 people uh, who are going through a court battle right now. And, and, and so the courts currently have an occupied case. I'm going to point out that the filing made those five people legally responsible for doing the fiduciary duty for that organization. They made themselves responsible for a corporation. That corporation has a duty to protect itself. If they embezzled money, which is certainly a question, there's, there's a, there was questions raised about whether they had access to the money that was raised under an account, those people are going to be responsible. I think there's something here. I don't think it's easily resolved. I, I'd like to see us not get bogged down in the let's do this or let's do that. Let's have a couple of people make some inquiries, talk to a lawyer, see if they think there's even a case, and then come back with a recommendation. At that point, maybe the GA can say, yes, we, we the undersigned, agree to go ahead and start a lawsuit to challenge the name. But I don't think we can do that right now. That's I'm what I'm saying. I'm wondering if this is on topic because, like, my my proposal was specifically holding Mark personally. Right. So I, I, I want to come back the, to that. I want to come back to. So the question is, what does the proposal do specifically if Mark's not in the picture anymore? Is that are we sending a message? We never want Mark to be part of the picture. Is that what you're trying to do? No, I just um, he's banned for now from the discussions because the community is unsafe. So, if, is your proposal then to take away resources like being able to be an admin on the page, yeah. being able to be on the finance committee, being able to be mm. wherever on? Or, or like vote in. The, yeah. Okay, so he would. So essentially, you're looking to. You're looking to exclude him from GAs. Yeah. Uh, okay, and so that's you're shunning. Shunning. So we're looking at shunning here. Yeah. And um. That's great to for, that like, and I guess. I'm going to take off my facilitator hat for a second just because this has been something I've been dealing with quite personally for two weeks. Um, I've already personally decided to shun Mark Provost, so whatever we decide here has nothing to do with me. Um, I think that um, abuse isn't about taking away admin privileges, it's about telling somebody who they can and cannot be, who can and cannot participate, and trying to come up with some kind of checkbox list that you have to agree to before you can be considered Occupy. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I saw that, how you have to agree with their things before you, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. That's actually what got me here, was the total yeah. outrage of, really? Are you guys serious with this shit? Yeah. Um, I, I, I wanted to call Sean that I think we should put a preventive measure that the movement is not being used towards money laundering. She has a good point. I mean, when we went through this in the Nashville Assembly, we were talking about this on the way up there. Remember, we were trying to we were trying to corner Mark about the money. Remember. Remember that whole situation that went down? Mm -hmm. I think it's going on even more. How did they get two hundred dollars? Before well, it was that from GA, the Occupy New Hampshire page and donations and yeah. things like that. What that was why we formed the Finance Accountability Workgroup. I think that's Occupy Manchester's money. I'm not sure they've linked like it to the account yet. Um, for what I've heard oh. from Kitty. I, I honestly, numbers we don't we don't have enough every information. This is really about the finance. Yeah, this is part of it. Finance, though, the numbers change every single time I look it up. Well, like, we pay never a set like okay. anything. So this guy, process. so she's right. It's got to be. Yeah. There's got to be something fu funny going on. There's got to be. Forward on this proposal. Yeah, can we bring it back? <laughs> can we bring it back to my? the election. Probably. The coming election. Probably. Watch it. Probably. Okay, so I wouldn't doubt that. So if we could get back to the proposal at hand, Matt, is it fair to say that your proposal, the initial part of your proposal, is that because of Mark Provo's ongoing pattern of abusive behavior, we have decided to shun him from Occupy New Hampshire? Is that a reasonable statement? Could I have a friendly amendment? If anyone's willing to listen. Um, I think I think definitely for his behavior that he should be shunned in general from any like positions of power, leadership positions. Um, and I agree that given his behavior that he should at least be shunned for the movement. Um, but personally, I would say that we, w I would say that we should give him some kind of way of either making like a personal apology to everyone that he's offended, and turn, and then allow him from that point to just become part of the movement again. Not saying give him back his positions of power, 
but just allow him to take part again after that has happened. Yeah. Okay, so, and that sounds like a restitution and returning. Yeah. So then we would get to decide what we want to do. We shun him from the entire community because I think that's pretty strong. I completely disagree with what he's done and how he's gone about it. As far as I don't like to exclude anyone, and I'll say that from Occupy. Yep. Just for the interest of promoting discussion. Remember when Sherry did it to him? Back in the back, way back when. Yeah. Okay. Well, back then, Sherry actually stepped up, said, "You know what? I was wrong. Oops, my bad," and stepped out. Yeah. And then actually apologized publicly to him. Yeah. Now, if you were to take that kind of strength that she had, that to me looks that would that to me would be like, okay, there's somebody trying to make amends. Okay. So then the proposal, as I'm hearing it now, based on what seems to be strong support for that, is because of Mark's, Mark Provost's ongoing pattern of abusive behavior, we, the statewide DGA of Occupy New Hampshire, have chosen to shun him until he can make amends and restitution for the harm he's caused. Absolutely. Absolutely. Are there any I other couldn't, amendments? I couldn't hear it because people are talking. <laughs> yeah. so it was, Someone writing this down? Yeah. We, the um, <laughs> Occupy New Hampshire statewide assembly, because of Mark Provost's ongoing abusive pattern of behavior, decided to shun him from um, Occupy New Hampshire until he has made amends and restitution for the harm he's caused. Okay, do you yeah. want, okay, so we're not adding anything about the admins or nope. 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 Okay. Because we okay. know what harm so is We've got that So, the is there of any that. amendments to this proposal, Mark? I really would like to see us all reinstated to the original page. But that's not part of shunning. That's not part of this whole thing. I mean, that would be separate. We should do, we should, I agree with you, but not for this specific thing. Cause right, that could be just a... Well, I'm not going to unshun it. I think the uh, word shun is so <laughs> strong that it'll be, it'll end up having a divisive effect. That no, would be part of making a map. One conversation, folks, please. Do you have another suggestion for a word? Um, restricted. Temporarily restricted or, or restricted during the uh, interim. Restricted from positions and access to resources and whatever. That's something that we have to apologize to, right? Yeah. I, well, what about restrict his access to the resources of Occupy New Hampshire instead of shunning? I think it's I like, I like better wording. <laughs> I think it's safer wording, less divisive. Uh, I, well, here's I, I, I hold the safety of our community higher than any personal Okay. That's what I want to send forward with this one. I just want to say, in terms of divisiveness, I don't, I mean, I understand the group's splintered and fractured, but I don't think a lot of people who had splintered last week would say that Mark's behavior was still appropriate. Yeah, I mean, I think that was a separate issue. I think we separated over a different issue. I think Mark's behavior is something that the other group might not necessarily disagree with. So I don't think it may not be as divisive since that was really not the primary reason for the splitting in the first place. If I could be recognized, and this is the last thing that that I that I want to add, I just think that there there should always be a way back. And what I what I would prefer to see it seems that if we're if we're I agree with Ben, and if it's not going to be tied to everything else, then it is personal, and and I'm not sure that these are the places a group does not have the skills to um, to to negotiate uh, you know settlements of personal issues because they're because they're complex but what I would rather see is the is the people who have personal issues state those issues have them publicly so that he ind could deal with those individuals personally and have those individuals say yes I've, I've made we've made our peace and he's good with and as people continue to say okay we've made our peace okay we've made our peace okay we've made our peace then eventually everyone makes peace among themselves individually and then that that's, I, the, path back. that's the path back there has to be a path towards unity somehow I would right. say that the, I agree with that. However, I also think that people shouldn't be forced to make peace with someone they don't want to. And that 100% of, he doesn't, 
because in my own personal, and this is just me, I speak only for myself, I will not be having any further relationship with Mark Provost. I do not want to make amends with him. I do not want anything to do with him. However, if other people want to do that and they want him to be part of the group, then that's that's the choice that they make. I don't want my piece with Mark Provost to be like his his whatever participation in Occupy New Hampshire to be dependent on me making peace with him because I have no intention of making peace with him. And I don't want that to be on my shoulders. If it, I think, you know, if they want to make peace and then if the consensus says he should come back in, then that, that great, awesome. But I don't want to be forced to be in a situation where I have to do that. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So do you want to wrap it up by having like what exactly the proposal looks like now? Uh, Matt, do you want to read that too? Chris has written Oh, okay, great. The, uh, Chris statewide GA uh, wants to shun Mark Provost from leadership because of his ongoing abusive behavior and he apologizes and makes amends. You, you want to tweak that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, no, you said they were removing him from power. Did you also, does that also include that we shun him from leadership. Okay. But I'm just asking, did you want to also shun him from We actually acknowledge, actually, those words actually acknowledge that he was a leader. I don't acknowledge his leadership at all. Can we strike the words leadership? Has anybody got an objection to strike him? How about just shunning from occupying? Shun him from occupying. I don't know what that means. Taking part. Uh, so in, what are you saying? Assemblies. If he showed up, that, then you just then ignore him. Right. Shunning means you just if he shows up to an event, you do not acknowledge him. Yeah, he as, is as, as a the facilitator, facilitator does would not, not acknowledge him. him. No, no, we passed a we passed an inclusiveness resolution that was one of the first things we did, and what it said is, if someone is abusing the process, that by consensus, based on their behavior, they could be removed. They could be asked to leave. That's what we're doing. That's effectively, we are exercising what we passed earlier. And that's really what this is. This is an exercise of what we said earlier with a specific person in mind. And so the language we, you know, if we, if, if the argument is what is shun mean? Well, what shun means is essentially what the statement we said earlier is, which is based on behavior, this person is no longer welcome. They are excluded. Uh, so, do you want to just read back what the, uh, the striking the leadership and then we'll decide? The statewide Occupy movement has agreed to shun Mark Pro Provost from participation because of his ongoing abusive behavior until he apologizes and makes amends. I think maybe at the end of the sentence putting his, um, there should be something that says, his readmittance or what yeah that closes it out basically and says mark it says until yeah it says until so until but it has to say it should say something about through the until consensus of the ga the until he's yeah not amends in his opinion yeah until he's readmitted by, by in the opinion of the group. Group. Yeah. Uh, okay so so uh so <laughs> what's the last part of the line again yeah. <laughs> until he apologizes and makes <laughs> yeah. until by yeah. the yeah. view yeah. of the Everyone consensus of the of the, the ga Statewide General Assembly. Statewide General yeah. Assembly. Exactly. The problem with this is that are we, are we, and I'm, I'm okay with whatever you guys decide. I just want to devil's that. There's going to be people in Manchester that aren't going to agree that this is, you know, they're going to say, you guys aren't even a real GA. Obviously, we don't feel that way. Uh, but I just, that's my only thought is that, and that's why I hesitate. Again, I don't like excluding anyone from Occupy. I do want to exclude him from a position of any type power. of power or authority. Um, but my, my, I would like to bring both groups back together. I don't want to create any more divisiveness. Yes. But part of that coming together is, is all of us being allowed equal access on this. It's a statewide page. I didn't get banned from the Manchester page, of which I was a part of as well. I got banned from the statewide page for nothing. I didn't. I haven't made a comment on there, and, and for, I took my comments off of that page onto the other page, and then I'll shut up there. Mark, Mark, I guess the point is, earlier today we passed a statement that said, under certain circumstances, we would not be inclusive. That means we would exclude. Okay. All right, so so you did you agree? Do you yeah. agree that Mark fits the criteria yeah. that we were okay. concerned about? I His behavior. Yes, I just, His behavior. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay.
And we have to take for exercise we did earlier. We just have to make that clear. We passed the state and now we're a lot more people here. We passed the statement and now we're one at a time here. So that we don't have to ask the question again. The wording we have so far, if I got it right, is the statewide GA wants to shun Mark Provost from Occupy New Hampshire because of his ongoing abusive behavior until he apologized and makes amends and the consensus of the GA lets him back in. Yes. Perfect. Are there Perfect. any other amendments for this? Any blocks? All right, can you raise one hand if you support this proposal as written? Okay, can you put your hands down? If you oppose? So that, does that look like consensus? That looks like a consensus. Yes. All right, so that's done. All right. um, what's the second part of your proposal, Matt? That was it. Oh, that was it. So okay, we're we, done we with We summarized. That. We're good. Oh, good. Okay, so that was the last thing on the agenda. Um, at this point, we can <laughs> like close out the GA and start the food not bombs discussion, right. or we can just move everything over to some place so where we have. The lunch. next GA is scheduled for. Do you want to have a uh, GA? Well, can we do a Saturday one? Because Elizabeth yeah. Yeah. Mentioned. I would like to do Saturday next weekend. I'm in New Hampshire for. I mean, I'm in Boston for nonviolent direct action training. Um, so I. Well, Why don't we say two weeks and that'll give us a chance for some of this stuff to... Can we make the next one on a Saturday instead of yeah, a Sunday? Yeah, we're going to do oh, Saturday. So, cool. two, two so two weeks on a Saturday. Okay, so that would be like August 4th. August 4th, yeah. Okay, so August 4th for the next y state YGA. Um, actually, I have a uh, end the bed meeting that I must attend on that day. Okay. So I don't know. Maybe we could do the morning thing and still have an afternoon. And I know a couple of other people. Um, I know a couple of other people who wanted to occupy one come down for that as well. I don't have the time. On there. I didn't write that. Okay. But I know it's why don't on we before. Have it, why don't we have it in Manchester? Yeah. Have it why don't we, so if we're talking about doing a feed, we're talking about doing a homeless feed, so that fits in direct with feed, and then we go ahead and do. Yeah. I like that idea. So Manchester. So Manchester will be the next one August right. four. So we'll we're feed Manchester. people, and then we'll have a GA. Sound like a plan? Veterans Park. Veterans Park. Park. Yeah. Veterans on the fourth. Awesome. Okay, so with that, we can close out this um, GA. And can I add one more thing? Thank you very much for doing the notes. Um, where uh, will they be made available on not online? The minutes. Either Teresa or you will give me an email address. Okay, and I, I'd like to make a request to everyone here to um, thank you, uh, Garrett, for filming. Can, can we please at, uh, make on a personal effort, uh, on, a, on a personal basis, an effort to publish the minutes and the video as far and wide as we can? And as quickly as we can. As quickly as we can and as far and wide as we can. And there will and be a, be a story in the Concord I'll Monitor. You, I'll give you a draft of it and you're free to... It There'll be a story in the Concord Monitor. We'll, we'll post a link there in the comment section so people comment. who want to get Thank the you. full minutes and the video can, can watch themselves and figure out how accurate the Concord Monitor's reporting was. Heather and I can post <laughs> it on the website. Mm -hmm. well, yes. All right. So well, thank you guys for coming today. I'm glad to see the key folks and people I haven't seen in a while. Yeah. See you come up. in two weeks. Yeah. 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 What time will the lunch? No, we'll be here. We'll be here. It's going to be in Manchester.